I am Daniel Lucas. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bartoni, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Chefy. Hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm fabulous, fabulous like you, Chefy. And we want to greet Happy Halloween to everyone. <laughs> yes. Happy Halloween, people. I hope you have a great Halloween. Yes. Yes, it... we did. I work. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are both working. So, so yeah, yeah. well, I hope you enjoyed it. Is mm -hmm. it raining over there, Shafi, or you have a good uh, weather? No. Actually, it was, a, it was a very nice day. Now we change yes. the time. It's getting dark faster. So, Yes. Uh, One hour back. People. Yes, <laughs> but, uh, no, it was a it was a nice day, nice and cool. Beautiful. Yes, yes, we yes. We start to get a nice, uh, nice uh, Canadian weather. <laughs> Canadian, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Canadian and, weather. Yes, we are. Uh, we want to greet people listening uh, from India. Happy Diwali, yes, uh, people! Yes. Happy Diwali! Thank you so much for. Tuning on Food 101. I hope you have a good, 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 um, happy Diwali. Diwali day, yes. Yes. So, Chefy, before we go on, we want to please, please visit our official website, Food 101, or www.food101.ca. It's official website of Food 101. Everything is in there, what we are talking about, and the books and everything is in there. Mm. And please visit it because you will learn a lot in terms of yeah. culinary. <laughs> 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 we make sure that every one, uh, once a month or twice a month, we updated that website. So please do uh, visit people, www food101.ca and, and speaking of books, Shafi, please do purchase one of our books, Food 101, Volume 12, Italian Cuisine, and we are planning to expand one more for Volume 15, Regional Dishes in Italy, because what we are talking about now, we're talking about Regional Dishes in Italy. Mm-hmm. So, Chefy, what will be a region in Italy that we're going to talk about? Today we talk about Puglia. Puglia, South Italy. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Puglia. You've been there, Chefy, Puglia. Uh, passed by, yes. Uh, mm. Didn't visit much, but yes, I passed by. Yes, yes. Interesting place. Yes, very interesting. And uh, there is uh, specific things that I really like from over there. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like interesting. The few that I really, you know, that's why, you know, I keep, you know, talking, you know, about this region so I can, you know, uh, give my, you know, my, a little bit my taste to the, you know, whoever listened to us, you know. Yes. The I, I love most of uh, when I cook, uh, when uh, you know, when I'm in the kitchen, and uh, yeah, I, I try to get an idea from all over Italy. You know, that's you know, it's our job anyway. So, and uh, that's it. Like uh, you have some specific thing that you like from the Philippines. I got some specific thing <laughs> that I like from Italy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yes. I like I Oregon. There is more than 10 things that I like, it, but you know, for each region, but you know, let's make it <laughs> make it short so we the time that we need anyway. Yes. Uh, anyway, so uh, I will start right away with, uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite today. It's uh, Taralli. <laughs> oh, wow. It's my, it's my favorite, <laughs> you know, snack when, I, when I'm home. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, crazy about taralli. You know what taralli is? The taralli, the, you know, the crispy, uh, crispy bread uh, dough. It's practically it's like a small ring. Uh, like the, croutons. The, no, like it's croutons. almost like uh, like almost like uh, you know little little uh, um, let's say uh, donuts. Oh but yeah, they are crispy but they're very thin. It's like a grissini. Uh, but uh, 
the size circle. of what is there. Yes, the same oh, way. Oh, wow. Yeah, Another that's version of the scene. Photo is playing, you know, like a Grissini, you know, like that. You know? <laughs> That I will love that one. I love Grissini uh, with prosciutto. I love it. I love it. They make a different flavor. You know, you can find uh, uh, or cashew pepper. You can find uh, pepperoncino. You can find uh, just salt, regular, you know, olive oil. Uh, the different, so many. Uh, uh, the tomato. You got the, the oh my god! It's a, they never finish it to surprise you. When you go to the <laughs> store, you find so yes. different kind. Even if I like the original, because I, I love the original. And uh, yeah, it's uh, for me, it's a uh, torture because <laughs> when I start to eat one, <laughs> I never stop. That's a problem. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, so that one is one of uh, the first one that I always talk about it when I talk about Puglia because it's the one that come up right away to my mind. You know, Puglia equal, you know, Taralli. Boom, here we go. But, you know, the Puglia is uh, famous. Ve- so famous for the bread. You know, they got an amazing bread, especially uh, the. Il, uh, Pane di Altamura, it's one of the most famous uh, uh, bread that uh, everybody from Bari knows uh, how famous it is. And, mm. uh, and uh, they are very, very uh, professional to make uh, the bread. And uh, so that's why it's one of the things the most popular over there too. And uh, another thing that I really like, it's uh, uh, friselle or frise. It's Freeze. a kind of... Uh, uh, let's say like a, almost like a bagel yes. but it's uh, half cut it's dry up in the oven oh, so it's wow. dry dry uh, bread but it's uh, the, the size of almost like a bagel but it's only half side and anyway they they dry up and uh, the best thing you can do when it's summertime you just make a bruschetta with that this is uh, it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's, a, it's a, an amazing thing to do. You know, when you got a bruschetta with a simple, you know, uh, you got your tomato, salt, olive oil, oregano. That's classic, you know, and then you, you just eat it because it's uh, it's fantastic. Yes. And uh, of course, focaccia. You know, the, oh. the, of course, the Puglia's got their own focaccia, you know. Uh, Genova's got his own, but Puglia's got very good focaccia. It's most common with <laughs> you know, cherry tomato. Authentic. Uh, yes, that's the thing. It's a nice and round, you know, it's almost like a pizza, but it's thicker. In, uh, it's uh, it's uh, crispy outside and soft inside. And you see, you know, your fresh tomato on top, you know, your cherry tomato. It's uh, very tasty as a... Uh, as a breakfast, as a snack, as a, you know, uh, nice uh, during the meals. <laughs> you can eat anytime. Anytime, anywhere. Yes. Uh, two specific cheese, well, let's say three. Well, let's, well, let's pick two and then expand. The, the two spe- specific cheese that I like from uh, uh, Puglia is Cacio Cavallo. Yes. Uh, Cacio Cavallo, it's a shape like uh, almost like, uh, uh, let's say it's an uh, age, uh, um, uh, round shape, uh, kind of uh, mozzarella style, but it's uh, aged, so it's nice and uh, uh, it's dry. And you can actually uh, melt it on the bread or you can melt wow. on top of the bruschetta. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very good grill as a cheese. And it's very, very, very tasty as a, as a cheese. That and only an, come from Puglia. Yeah, other region they make it, but let's say the Puglia is the most... Uh, uh, authentic. Authentic. <laughs> it's famous. <laughs> famous. I say, yeah, come on. It's, uh, each one's got his own cheese. And, uh, you know, Puglia's got, it's got his own uh, specific cheese. A very good one. Uh, yeah. Another one, of course, you got mozzarella, but you got the burrata. They are the, I love it. You know, burrata is my favorite. In the stracciatella di burrata, it's another my favorite. You know, you got the moz- you got the burrata. Uh, any kitchen now in the world has got burrata in the in the menu. Or it's got, you know, <laughs> you can buy anywhere. Uh, stracciatella, you can play with the stracciatella. You can make anything with the stracciatella. You can make put on top of the pasta, on top of the risotti, on top of the pizza, uh, inside the sandwich. You know, name it. You can use it. You know, yes. it's uh, uh, amazing and fresh and tasty. Of course. Definitely. It's like Parmesan yeah. now, right, Jeffy? Parmesan like, cheese. Just well, like now Parmesan famous, cheese. Famous like a Parmigiano? Yeah, it can be a famous like a Parmigiano. 
It's famous like a mozzarella. Yes, it's famous like a mozzarella. Yes. And, um, but it's two different, uh, like, you know, the burrata, you get the mozzarella outside, you get the stracciatella inside. That's the difference. So you can get both at the same time. So uh, the famous pasta of Puglia, everybody knows, or Chiette. Oh, course. yes. It doesn't, matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you go, you find it, you know? Or if you yeah. still walking on the, in the little town, on the old town of Bari, you know, you still can find a woman making the orecchiette by hand outside the door of the house and, you know, selling this little package to the tourists or to the family or the friends coming over, you know? It's so, uh, so cool to see, you know, uh, all this tradition they keep maintaining. That's so fantastic, you know, because you can still walking around and you see all this lady working on it. Uh, they never, they never, <laughs> uh, never stop. You know, there is so many other different pasta, you know, in uh, in, uh, in Puglia. For example, you got even the, the cavatelli, you know? Yes. From Puglia too. You know, it's like an, an open uh, orecchietto almost. And uh, let's say, uh, strascinati, it's another pasta too. Uh, or cicatelli, it's another one, no? So there is so many uh, kind of pasta, but of course, you know, when you think about Puglia, first it come up, you know, it's... Uh, uh, or a chiette, you know, or a chiette, the chiette yeah. with the cime di, di rapa or with the uh, rapini or uh, any sauce would be a good match for. Uh, or a chiette is a very small pasta, right? Yeah, it's just yeah, like, it's a, like a, a, a year. Almost. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. just bend like, a, you know, uh, like the shape of the year. Yes. It's good for soup, people. I love the, I love our chiette when you put a, uh, in chicken noodles. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, let's see. The most it's uh, kind of uh, great for uh, uh, broccoli sauce. It's the best, of course. It's going to be the best match. You know, if you got sausage and broccoli, anchovies and broccoli, or whatever you want to put it on. Uh, you know, just garlic, olive oil, and broccoli. That's uh, perfect, you know? Yes. And, uh, uh, some people can put in the minestrone. Yeah, sure. Why not? You know, it's yes. match, uh, match good. Any pasta going to match good if it's, uh, you know, fresh pasta in uh, in the soup, any kind of sauce. Yes, yes, yes. So, Shafi, before we go on, speaking of our podcast, people, we are so happy that our podcast is belong to 70 best food podcasts on the planet we are number 11 people number thank 11 you. thank you so much and i hope next year we're you know we're <laughs> we are number five or number seven or in the top 10 thank you fridge spot for being part for this list because Chef and I are so grateful and grateful and grateful. You're recognizing our hard work. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so, Chef, let's shout out the people listening in India because today is Happy Diwali Day. I think yesterday, right? <clears throat> yes. Thank you, India. So, Chef. Okay, so we have uh, Maharashtra, 32%, Karnataka, 14%, National Capital Territory of Delhi, 11%, uh, Talangana, 7%, Chhattisgarh, 6%, Uttar Pradesh, 4%, Andhra Pradesh, 4%, West Bengal, uh, 4%, Gujarat uh, 3%, Rajasthan 3%, Daman and Diu uh, 2%, Punjab 2%, Mandian Pradesh 2%, Ariana 2%, Amil Nabu 1%, Karaya 1%, Jharkhand 1%, Bihar 1%, Nagaland 1%, Ham yeah, no, Himachal Pradesh 1%, Unit Territorial Producery 1%, Odisha 1%, Goa 1%. I hope I spell all right. Yes, <laughs> so was, was Namaste. So thank you anyway. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, India, for supporting this podcast. And of course, Apple Podcast as the platform, we got 84.2%. Uh, Castbox at 4.6, web browser 
Pocket Castle 2.1 and others 5.5. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast and tune in for our season 5 because this podcast will be a bigger better and bolder. Yay! Uh, we are thinking uh, something else. We are brewing for our fifth season, people, because well, you deserve better, bigger and bolder. So, Shafi, one more country that we're going to shout out. Let's do Japan. It's been a long time we're not shouting Japan. Sure. Hari ga to saimas. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we got Tokyo, 39%, Shiba, 25%, Kagawa, 8%, Osaka, 8%, Yogo, 4%, Okinawa, 3%, Shiga, 2%, Miyazaki, 2%, Aichi, 2%, Kanagawa, 2%, Saitama, 2%, Kyoto, 1%, Guma, 1%, Fukuoka, 1%, Shizuoka, 1%, Hokkaido, 1%. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chef Alessandro worked in Japan for 14 years, Chef. 15, 15. 15. Yes. So, imagine one of these days we're going to talk about Japanese cuisine with the fusion of Italian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. So, Shafi, one more country. Oh Let's God. shout out to the people listening in, let's say, Latvia. Latvia. Oh, I love Latvia. Riga, 50%. Riga, Riga. 50%. <laughs> yes, to Riga. Thank you to so Riga. much. <laughs> I love Latvia. You have a cheaper chocolate over there. Thank you so much for those cheaper chocolate. Uh, so thank you again. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast. And I hope you will continue supporting this podcast because we are aiming for 2 million downloads. I yes, hope we're we going to aim for that 2 million downloads because last year we did our 1 million downloads people thank you so much so chefy what will be the next in our uh, list? the next is going to be uh, panzerotti of course you know panzerotti. We, have, we, have, we have to talk about panzerotti you know it's like a, a deep fried packet dough you know it's like yes. a pizza packet you know kind <laughs> you know same thing <laughs> It's uh, by it's an Italian called Panzerotti. It's filled with tomato and mozzarella, or you can get the version uh, with the uh, prosciutto and mozzarella. It's very popular too. Yes. So it's classic. You know, you make your pizza dough, you wrap it, you fold them half moon, and then you stuff inside with the, you know the uh, mozzarella and tomato sauce, and then you just deep fry. They are amazing. They are amazing. Che buono. Oh, oh yeah, you never stop eating that one. <laughs> Because since we are the deep fry, I'm going to talk about the petole. You know, the petole, it's a, the, the deep fry, almost like a, a salty donuts. Uh, they, you know, they, they deep fry and then they put the salt. Uh, they put, uh, you can uh, serve it with tomato sauce and a uh, nice Parmigiano-Reggiano grilled cheese on top. Maybe San Cacio Cavallo would be amazing on top, you know, fantastic. But there is even uh, in the Christmas time the, 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 the same recipe but change with the sugar. So a sweet one. Yeah, sweet version. So uh, to finish, I would like to talk about the pasticciotti. They are practically they are, uh, it's, uh, emblematic. Uh, it's, uh, it's considered one of the sweet emblematic of the Puglia. It's, uh, it's like a, a tart. It's a tart uh, uh, filled with, uh, with the custard cream and there is a, a kind of uh, uh, sour, sour uh, cherry inside, a sour cherry. It's uh, so tasty, so good. You know, you can find all over, you know, all over the, the Puglia region. Hmm. All over, available. People. Yes. I, do you think available in Canada, Sheffield? Maybe some uh, some uh, pastry, maybe they do. Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, some uh, they're coming from uh, you know that area, it's uh, it's a very famous uh, dessert actually. So it's, uh, let's say that you can find any any pastry shop, like you can find even in a kind of a uh, uh, coffee shop too, because it's much good with uh, you know for breakfast or for a snack or for uh, you know uh, any time during the day. 
Yes, 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 yes. So I'm inviting you, please do uh, listen to my other podcast, a Book 101 Review on my fourth season too, people, fourth season. And so uh, please do listen to my feature author of the month of October. She is award-winning author and, of course, best-selling author too, no other than Miss Jennifer Brosak. We did uh, five episodes uh, for the month of October. And please tune in for my feature author the month of November. As usual, he is this time. He is award-winning and best-selling author. So please tune in for... We are live uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. PST. So tune in who is that award-winning and best-selling author. So, Shafi, let's do summarize all the recipe dishes of Puglia. Yes, absolutely. So, we talk about bread, the famous bread of Puglia, the the pane di Altamura. Then we talk about taralli, one of my favorite, you know, snack or, you know, salty that, you know, you can, uh, you know, use anytime during the day. Uh, we talk about frise eh, or friselle, they are kind of uh, kind of bruschetta, they are good for bruschetta with tomato, fresh fresh tomato, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Uh, we talk about focaccia, uh, the classic oh, fo- Puglia style focaccia with a nice uh, uh, cherry tomato, crispy outside and soft inside. We talk about cacio cavallo cheese. You know, the age uh, classic cheese that is very good for, uh, you know, melted or, you know, just uh, uh, you can eat even grated on top of the pasta eventually. We talk yeah. about the mozzarella, the burrata and stracciatella. Uh, of course, you know, the guy, you got the famous uh, burrata and stracciatella of Puglia. You, know, you, can, you can ask less than that. Uh, we talk about orecchiette pasta, classic orecchiette that you can match very well with the broccoli, aglio, olio, peperoncino. Famous are even this, so you can add sausage, cherry, you can add, add your cherry tomato, you can add your uh, 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 some nice anchovies on it. You know, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You can even throw so soup like Daniel said. You know, it's always yes. good. I love uh, We I talk love about... Recipe. Uh, we'll talk about the cavatelli, the cicatelli, you know, that you can find different kind of pasta. We talk about panzerotti, the deep fried uh, pizza packet, uh, stuff with the tomato mozzarella, or you can find it with the prosciutto and mozzarella. And we, uh, we talk about pettole, the deep fried uh, dough balls with, uh, you know, served with the parmigiano uh, or cheese. You can even use the cacio cavallo if you want it and uh, salt you can uh, serve with some tomato sauce or in the Christmas time you can change it with the nice uh, uh, sugar sprinkle of sugar on top and at mm. the end we talk about the pasticciotti that is a classic uh, uh, emblematic uh, symbol of Puglia in the, for dessert you know it's a nice uh, uh, tart shell uh, stuffed with the cassia cream and a cherry a sour cherry on, inside cherry on the go. top <laughs> <laughs> Cherry on the top. That's everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, people try them, taste them, because uh, Puglia is known as the bread basket of Italy. Well, it's very simple. It's very yeah. simple QC. So it's no hard to, to, to make at home. So if you just navigate a little bit on the internet, you can find it, you know. If you need some uh, uh, address to, we can send you, you know, in, uh, you know, just to see the perfect recipe. Or if you contact us, I can send you the recipe uh, yes. as many as you want. <laughs> no yes. problem. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. We are encouraging you people to participate to our podcast. If you want to know something that you want to know, yes, email Chef Alessandro. He will give you right away the recipe or whatever Absolutely. you want. No problem. It's simple, uh, simple uh, cuisine. Simple click. <laughs> simple cuisine. It's always good. It's always yes. good. <laughs> Because this podcast is created to empower food, food, food. And as we're saying, Puglia is sundered region in Italy or southern Italy. Yes. It's celebrated for its rustic and flavor cuisine, which highlight the simplicity and richness of locally sourced ingredients. That's why I love Italian food. <laughs> 
they are well, well known that their ingredients are from their surroundings. Perfect. So, yes, yes, yes. And people, again, please tune in for our uh, season five because it's coming. We're doing bigger, better, and bolder. Yay, yay, yay. And thank you so much for listening to us. I hope you will continue and you will be our inspiration to make this podcast uh, bigger and better and bolder. So, Shafi, see you soon. Bye-bye. Yes.